San Antonio. This is Rob for the Metal Works. I'm here at the Sounds of the Underground here at the Verizon Wireless Theater. It brings me a steam pleasure to welcome one of our favorite bands. Yes, one of the main attractions here tonight. We got Matt and Corey of the band Trivium. How are you gentlemen doing this afternoon? Very good. Very good. How are you doing, Corey? I'm doing good. Like I uh, just shared with you guys a short while ago, we're huge fans of the band here at the program, and it's really great to see you guys um, getting a lot of the recognition that, that you deserve. And as it, it seems now that the touring is about to end for Ascendancy, uh, looking back in retrospect for the past two years, Matt, how, how do you uh, feel about uh, Ascendancy and, and, and uh, everything that you've accomplished with that release? Ascendancy was definitely the best record we could have put out at the time. We're very proud of it. Um, it's done a lot, a lot of good. I mean, we've been touring for it even two years before it ever came out, or a year and a half before it ever came out. So finally, everywhere we go now, whether it's North America or it's Europe or it's wherever, everyone knows the words, everyone knows the songs, at least our fans, I mean, by everyone. And that's all that matters. And, uh, you know, things went really well for it, and now it's time to step it up. And take things so as we look forward now, um, the word's already out about your upcoming release, um, The Crusade. Talk a little bit about uh, that release, um, Corey. How do you, if you even want to, how would you say the, the progression has been on this new uh, music that you're about to put out later in the fall? Um, from, uh, compared to Ascendancy, it's like like light years ahead of, you know, as far as sound. It's, uh, it's got more, definitely progressed all those musicians and songwriters and stuff and just wrote better songs, um, with better you know, musicianship on it and stuff. So it's like, uh, it's definitely, you know, like the more of what the, the kind of record we want to we want to kind of put out and want to represent ourselves with. And, and it's uh, it's definitely a, an album compared to whatever everything else is out there that's coming out and stuff. It's definitely uh, it stands out from the crowd because it has a, a different sound and uh, it definitely. I just we all are like way more into the new record. Um, so uh, what about really um. The title, the Crusade. Talk a little bit about that. Um, what, 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 do you, what is it? What are you saying there? Um, with every album title, it's been a personal statement about the band at that period of time. Ember to Inferno, meaning we went from some little spark of nothing to something special. Ascendancy was the dream of domination and the gradual rise at the same time. And the Crusade is literally what we've been doing since April '04, since we ever set foot in a van and uh, moved up to a bus. Obviously, now is crusading about the planet playing metal to everybody we can, people that love us, people that hate us, and doing it anyway. Now you have your armies and you're ready to attack. Yes, we do. <laughs> Let's get technical because people always want the technical information. Who, who turned the knobs on this CD? Are, I mean, uh, on the new CD, are, are you already done recording it? When will it be out? Things like that. It's done. comes out October 10th of this year. Um, it's coming on Roadrunner Records. Trivium produced it. Jason Sukoff co-produced it. Uh, Mark Lewis engineered it. Colin Richardson uh, mixed it. Ted Jansen mastered it. So that's... Yeah, there you go. Nutshell. We're, um, you know, as a regional program, we, we really dig on the videos. Um, your videos, uh, the new one, Dying Amars, has gotten a lot of acclaim here at the program. Um, still like doing videos? Will there be any new video work coming out? Or you still think they're as, as relevant as they used to be? Um, well, for this, we definitely got uh, some videos in the works for this one. We haven't done anything yet for the new record, but uh, I know, like, in a couple weeks, I guess, we're doing two videos at the same time, so uh, I'm not really sure how that works as far as where it's coming out or whatever, but we're going to, just because we're on tour so much, we're kind of banging out two videos at the same time, and, you know, it's, uh, videos are still cool because it's, uh, you know, it gives a visual representation of the band and the song, and people don't know much about the band, they can kind of see what the band's like, and you can put off, you know, like, really set in people's mind, like, a, an image of the band, or, uh, you know something like that so it's, it's definitely a good thing instead of just hearing the song you get you get something to look at so uh, I definitely think and also with all the you know, metal shows and stuff they got on TV it's uh, it's another kind of uh, media outlet let's talk about sounds of the underground um, how's this tour been uh, treating you guys um, what do you feel you're accomplishing on this tour how do you like being part of this kind of like big touring family it's really good I mean as opposed to other summer tours that exist that tour North America this one's a little better I feel because it's more about the band it's not really, you don't have to feel thankful that you're on the tour. This is more just, this is about the bands that are on it. All the bands are cool, the vibes are good. Everyone gets along. I get to see some really good bands of different genres. I mean, bands like Cannibal Corpse and Behemoth and of course the band. You know, some of the best bands on the tour, I think. And uh, it's just a really good experience. I mean, it's friendly, it's, it's laid back. It's not all strict and weird and annoying. It's just a little hot. How long, how long of a set do you guys get? We get 30 minutes, which is a little short. I wish we can get more, but uh, at least a few. 
Barely, I try to. Uh, but it leaves the fans wanting more. And we'll be back in October for a headlining tour. Let's, uh, as we talk about uh, your headlining tour, I also heard that probably, um, I don't know if it's before that or after that, I, I, I read on your site that um, you guys are going to have an opening slot with Maiden in Europe. I, when I read that, I was like, wow. that's. I mean, I can just imagine how you guys feel about that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's actually November, December, um, right after our headlining tour. So that's... Uh, that's going to be amazing because, you know, we're all big fans of Maiden and they're one of, like, the biggest and best metal bands ever. Very influential and it's just a, you know, really, you know, honor for us to, do, like, be able to, you know, play in front of their crowd and kind of, like, and, and do that. And um, and also it's cool because, you know, we're all big fans that we get to go out there and play in front of their crowd and try to win over some new fans. And also, you know, we get to be fans as well because every night you get, like, the best spot in the house to watch Maiden. So... It's, uh, it's going to be a great tour, and it's uh, definitely looking forward Talk to Talk a little it. bit about the success now. I mean, it really kind of seems like it's come full circle a little bit, at least at this stage in your career. How do you feel about where you're at right now? It's amazing. I mean, we always knew things would pick up. We just didn't know when. And it finally seems like everything's in a place, and everywhere's picking up at the same time. I mean, uh, you know, Europe was kind of trailing behind the U.S. a little while ago, but we just did Europe and uh, sold out a bunch of club gigs in Germany, and now we're really big there. So now the U.S. has to catch up to that. And, UK is enormous and we're gold there and blah 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 blah. It's just really good, but um we're looking for the next level. I mean we're looking to do our own arenas someday. Yeah, a good level right now, you know, where we've you know achieved a lot, but it's like, you know, there's as far as we're concerned, you know, there's we're not even like close to where you know we wanna be. So uh you know we're still working hard touring and stuff, so hopefully, you know, this time next year it'll be at a totally completely, you know, bigger level than it is now. I'm glad to to hear how humble you guys are and that you're still hungry, man. You're not. You're not uh, letting up any, any bit. And as I mentioned, the um, Road Warrior United uh, a little while ago. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that because it, to me, it kind of expressed the fact that uh, you guys are can work outside of the scope of Trivium and do like black metal songs and stuff like that. Talk a little bit about that. How did it feel to be like a chosen as a captain for something like that, which was kind of like a big, big thing? Yeah, it's pretty incredible to be picked. I mean, um, you know, obviously they had three long-standing Road Warrior musicians to be the the ones they picked before or before me. And uh, they wanted someone that could represent the label well for musicianship, and uh, you know, they took me, which was really cool. And uh, it was a great experience. It just went by so quick, I barely got to think about it. I had 10 days to write the songs, 10 days to record, and it was done. But uh, me and Corey had a blast in that King Diamond track. And, uh, uh, any last great. words for the people out there in San Antonio? Anything we missed? Anything you want to share? Uh, we pretty much covered all the upcoming news, but uh, definitely keep an eye out for the new record, which comes out October 10th. And also keep an eye out for the, uh, the headlining tour. And uh, you know, hopefully we'll be hitting San Antonio. So uh, keep an eye out for that and come out to the shows and it'll uh, be a good time. Well, just as we, before I, I have to ask, uh, whether the headlining tour will be more like geared towards like, will it be like theater size, club size? You guys don't even know yet? No, they don't, they don't even know what we're capable of. We don't even know what we're capable of. But I remember, I always remember the uh, White Rabbit in San Antonio, right? The last White Rabbit show was one of the best shows we've ever had in the U.S. So hopefully, hopefully they'll top it today or at our thing. Yeah, it's hot as the crowd was incredible. The crowd was good. Any last words for, from you? Uh, just come out to our shows and get your balls kicked in. That's it. <laughs> Remember, Sydney Antonio, you saw Matt and Corey of Trivium right here on Rob's Metalworks. For all the info, if you want to hear it again, just go to trivium.org or go to robsmetalworks.com. You saw the band right here only on Rob's.